Can you repeat after me? Woof. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Miscellaneous Gab and I like to tell stories about stories on this channel. And guess what? Guess what guys? There's a new Hunger Games book coming out. Unfortunately, we will have to wait about 10 months, nine months at this point, but it's coming. So what do you need to know? What is this all about? Quick note, if you're new to this channel, please throw me a subscribe, a like, and be sure to check out my other Hunger Games videos. I, for one, am so excited that we're being treated to another Hunger Games book. When I think about Suzanne Collins writing another book, I'm not like, oh great, another piece of crap. You know, with like Marvel or even Harry Potter, sorry, trying to do the prequels. It just wasn't good was never as good as the original. I think Miss Suzanne Collins is truly talented because when she busted out that prequel, Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, and it stood on its own, amazingly so, but still same, same, but different. Chef's kiss, thank you, Suzanne. She said she would not write another Hunger Games book after Mockingjay, but here we are. Our girl has more to say about how terrible and fucked society is becoming. The new book is called Sunrise on the Reaping. It comes out March 18th, 2025. Suzanne Collins said she was inspired by David Hume. That is an 18th century philosopher and his idea of quote, implicit submission. And in his words, the easiness with which the many are governed by the few. Hmm, does that sound familiar? Does that sound like maybe some social commentary about what's going on right now? She also is curious to dive into the idea of propaganda and who controls the narrative. She's back with some more social commentary and it's always astute. It's always on point. It's always a cautionary tale and I cannot wait. She said the thing that's been really bothering her lately is the question real or not real? 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 Not real? That's even more important today with AI and just all the bullshit out there on the internet. When does this take place? Do, do, do. This is going to pl take place about 24 years before the original Hunger Games and 40 years after the Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. Do the math. That's Hamish's Hunger Games. It also means we'll get to see more snow. I feel like The Hunger Games is just really just about snow in his youth, middle age, and old age, and I could not be more excited to see more snow, but mostly Haymitch. So one thing that's important to note, Haymitch was, his reaping was during the second quarter quell. Remember the quarter quells happen every 25 years, and there's always something special, i.e. extra fucked up, for the quarter quells. As we saw with Katniss and Peeta, their quarter quell, everything was the new, tributes were reaped from the existing pool of victors. However, in Hamish's year, they actually had double the amount of tributes. So instead of two children reaped from each district, four children were reaped from each district. So I, for one, am so excited. If you've read the books, you know that Hamish's character is so much more detailed, nuanced, and effed up than in the movies. But either way, Hamish is still one of my favorite characters in both the books and the movies. So I'm curious to know if it will be in first person or third person. In the original trilogy, we had first person present, all from Katniss's perspective. So we actually got a lot more of her internal thoughts, dialogues, and world. The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes is from Curly Anus's perspective, but it's third person limited past tense. That's just me being a writing nerd. I'm just curious to know which one she'll go with this time. Now, if you don't want any spoilers for Hamish's story because you didn't read the books, just shut this video off right now, but don't do it before you leave a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, give me some love, you've been warned. I'm not gonna get into this too much, but if you've read the books, then you know that Hamish had like an obscenely effed up Hunger Games. In the original trilogy, Katniss and Peeta are actually able to watch back footage of old Hunger Games and come across footage from Hamish's Hunger Games. So if you recall, you'll understand that Hamish actually figured out there was a force field in the arena and used that force field to kind of bounce a weapon off of it, killing the last tribute, effectively making him the winner of the Hunger Games. Now we learn that President Snow and the powers that be were not a fan of that. They do not like it when people figure out their tricks and make them look stupid. So they actually went after Hamish's family and loved ones. Katniss was not the only one that was gone after by President Snow for making Capitol look stupid. Hamish has been there too. Hamish has had a really horrible, terrible life, which is kind of why he became a nihilistic alcoholic, because wouldn't we all? We also know that Hamish knew Katniss's mother back in the day. So maybe we'll get to see some of their characters interact. Overall, that's all I'll say for now. I'm gonna be following any more information 
teasers shortly, but leave a comment below. Tell me if you're excited. Tell me if you're a Hunger Games universe fan. I do think that just the Hunger Games, they do really well with sticking to the story for the most part. As a fan, I'm, I'm very happy with the treatment overall of the movie adaptations. And I love Suzanne Collins. I love the way she writes. I can't wait. I'm excited. Let me know what you think. And in the meantime, go check out my other Hunger Games videos. I will talk to you soon. We say goodbye. Bye-bye.